using Blender to prepare assets. Blender is a great tool when developing assets for a 3GS project, but new users often experience problems when exporting an asset from Blender to using a 3GS app. In this video we'll work through an example of a common workflow to show you how to get the best results. If you haven't already downloaded Blender, then shoot over to blender.org and download the version that suits your computer. When you first open Blender you'll get the default scene. This includes a camera, a light and a cube. Right click the cube in the outliner, the one at the top right, and select delete. You can also delete the camera and the light, we won't be needing them. Make sure we're in material preview mode to ensure we see textures. Then choose file, import, fbx and import the rifle idle fbx file that we downloaded from Mixamo in the previous video. The one with the skin and the idle animation. It might take a moment so be patient. If you just watched the video and didn't download any assets then you'll find the ones to use in the folder start lecture 4 underscore 3 to work along with this video. Once loaded you should see the Eve character. In the outliner at the top right select the armature. This is the FBX file you've just loaded. Use number pad dot to zoom to this selection and if you don't have a number pad on your keyboard you can go to edit preferences and select key map then search in the top right for frame selected and remap 3D view number pad dot to alt plus dot as explained in the first video in this section. Middle mouse on its own rotates the view. If you have no middle mouse, Mac owners for example, then choose Edit Preferences and select the Input tab. Select Emulate 3 button mouse. Now the left mouse button plus the options Alt key gives the same result as the middle mouse. Alt left mouse rotates, Alt shift left mouse pans and Alt control left zooms. The model we downloaded has textures that are bigger than we need for our game, making the file size bigger than necessary. To fix that we're going to extract the textures and resize them, then reload the scene. In the outliner, expand armature and select the mesh object. Before we continue it's important to save your blender scene. Now choose the checkered sphere icon to show the Materials Properties panel in the Properties view, bottom right in the layout screen. Expand Base Colour and click this button. Use the default option, the top one. This will create a folder to save the texture to. Repeat for Specular and Normal. With Normal you'll find the map under the Colour property. If you look in the folder where you save your Blender scene, you'll find a textures folder and inside that the three textures we just extracted from the FBX. Now open Critter. If you prefer a different bitmap editing program then use that. I use Photoshop but that is quite expensive. It comes with Adobe Creative Cloud. Whereas Critter is free. Click the open file button and choose space pirate underscore diffuse ping from the textures folder. If you prefer you can drag and drop the file from Explorer or Finder onto the Critter window. Choose Image, Scale Image to New Size from the main menu. At the moment the images are all 2048 square and we'll halve this to 1024. It's important that the image dimensions are a power of 2. So 1632, 64, 128, 256 512 and 1024 are all fine, but a value that's not a power of 2 would be resized in the program and it's best to avoid this as the resizing is done much more crudely than using an image processing program. Repeat with the other two images, then reload the scene to ensure that Blender's using the resized images. Great! You've successfully optimised the scene. If you play the animation using the control bar at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the character show its idle animation. Double click on armature and change its name to Eve. Then expand the armature in the scene hierarchy. Find the animation and expand that. It's got a really long name. Change this to idle. 
Now switch to the animation screen layout. At the bottom choose the dope sheet drop down and change it to action editor. And in the top left choose the drop down at the far left. This allows you to choose a variety of views. Select non-linear animation. Recall we downloaded some other animations where we didn't include the skin. Import one of them now. In the outline you'll see another armature. Expand it, find the animation and rename it. Now over in the non-linear animation window press the down arrow to add a new action. In the action editor down at the bottom press the plus button and in the drop down select the animation you've just renamed. See it pop up in the non-linear animation window. At this stage you can delete the armature you've just loaded. But don't delete the Eve model. Now repeat this with each downloaded animation. 1. Import the FPX. 2. Expand the armature and rename the animation. 3. In the non-linear animation window press the down button to add a new action. 4. In the action editor press plus and select the animation you've just renamed. 5. Delete the armature you've just imported. Keep repeating until all the animations are in the non-linear animation window. You can view an animation by selecting it, using the checkbox and using the playback bar. Before you export the model, Make sure that the only model in the outliner is the original skinned animation we renamed Eve. You now have a model that's ready to export. Choose File Export GLTF 2.0 in the Format drop-down and choose GLTF Binary. In the Include panel select Nothing, that way you get everything. In the Transform panel choose Plus Y Up. In the Geometry panel choose UVs, Normals, Vertex Colors and Materials and with Images Automatic. Select Compression and for the Animation panel choose Animation and Skinning but not Shape Keys unless you have Morphin in the scene. Choose a folder and file name and press the Export GLTF 2.0 button. Notice that adding the size of all the FBX files together we have 19.3 megabytes. By preparing the assets in Blender and exporting as a compressed GLB file, the single file that includes the character and all animations is only 3.2 megabytes. That's much better, particularly for someone on a mobile network. So now you know how to use Blender to prepare an animated character for a 3GS game. In the next video we'll look at how you can use the 3GS library to load this asset and play the animations it contains. Catch you in a minute. This video comes from my Udemy course, The Beginner's Guide to 3D Web Game Development with 3GS. Get the full course by following the link at nicklever.com forward slash courses.